Welcome back to our channel. This is a Ned Voyage presentation, Patagonia. The name itself evokes images of immense landscapes. Towering mountains pierce the sky, glaciers carve through ancient valleys, steppe grasslands stretch as far as the eye can see. This is a land of stark beauty, shaped by the raw power of nature. Imagine standing at the foot of Fitzroy. Its jagged peaks seem to claw at the heavens. The air is crisp and clean. The only sound is the wind whispering through the grass. Now picture yourself on horseback. You traverse emerald valleys dotted with guanacos and rias. You ford glacial rivers, their icy water a shock to your horse's legs. This is Patagonia, a land that will test your limits and reward you with unparalleled beauty. There's a certain thrill that comes with exploring on horseback. It's an experience that transcends the ordinary, taking you back to a time when humans and horses moved as one. It's a primal feeling, a connection to the past. You feel the echoes of history in every hoofbeat, a reminder of the ancient bond between rider and steed. In Patagonia, this feeling is amplified. The raw, untamed beauty of the region heightens every sensation, making each moment on horseback unforgettable. The vastness of the landscape makes you feel small, yet somehow connected to something greater. The endless horizons stretch out before you, inviting you to explore further. The terrain is challenging, but that's part of the adventure. Each obstacle you overcome adds to the sense of accomplishment and wonder. You'll navigate rocky slopes, cross rushing rivers, and gallop across open plains. Your senses come alive. The thrill of the ride is matched only by the beauty of the surroundings. You feel the wind in your hair, the sun on your face, and the powerful muscles of your horse beneath you. Every moment is a sensory feast, a celebration of nature and freedom. Each day brings new challenges, new landscapes to conquer. The diversity of the Patagonian scenery ensures that no two rides are ever the same. You'll ride through forests of ancient Lenga trees, their branches heavy with moss. The air is thick with the scent of earth and foliage, a reminder of the timelessness of nature. You'll climb to high passes, where condors soar on thermals above. The sight of these majestic birds is a testament to the wild, untamed spirit of Patagonia. The Patagonian landscape demands your respect, but it also rewards your courage. Every challenge faced and every vista conquered leaves you with a sense of awe and fulfillment. No horse is better suited to this rugged terrain than the criollo. Descendants of the horses brought to South America by the Spanish conquistadors, criollos have adapted to Patagonia's harsh conditions. They are tough, sure-footed, and possess an unyielding spirit. Criollos are smaller than many other breeds, but don't let their size fool you. These horses are incredibly strong and resilient. They can carry heavy loads for long distances, even over difficult terrain. More importantly, criollos are renowned for their intelligence and loyalty. They form strong bonds with their riders, understanding the unspoken language of trust and respect. When you ride a criollo, you're not just riding a horse. You're partnering with a creature that embodies the spirit of Patagonia itself. Wild, untamed, and utterly captivating. Patagonia is synonymous with the gaucho. These skilled horsemen, the cowboys of the south, have roamed these lands for centuries. Their lives are intertwined with the rhythm of the land, their traditions passed down through generations. Gauchos are known for their horsemanship, their resourcefulness, and their deep connection to the natural world. They are masters of survival, able to navigate vast distances, read the signs of the weather, and live off the land. Today, although their way of life is changing, the spirit of the gaucho lives on. You'll encounter it in the warmth of their hospitality the stories they share around the campfire, and their deep respect for the land they call home. One evening, after a long day in the saddle, I found myself sharing a mate with Don Carlos, a weathered gaucho with eyes that held the wisdom of generations. His face, etched with lines, told stories of its own. As the flames of the campfire danced in his eyes, he spoke of a time when pumas roamed freely, and the land was untouched a vast expanse of pristine wilderness that stretched as far as the eye could see. His words painted vivid pictures of cattle drives across endless plains where the horizon seemed to merge with the sky, 
of nights spent under a canopy of stars, each one twinkling like a distant dream, and of the deep bond between a gaucho and his horse, a relationship built on trust and mutual respect. I listened intently, captivated by his stories, feeling as though I was being transported to another time, feeling a connection to a way of life that seemed both familiar and worlds away. It was a life of simplicity and profound connection to the land. As we passed the mate gourd back and forth, the ritual itself a testament to the bonds of community, the silence punctuated by sips of the bitter brew. I felt a sense of peace and belonging. I realized that I wasn't just hearing stories. I was being invited into a living tradition. I was experiencing a glimpse into the soul of Patagonia, a place where every story is a thread in the fabric of its culture, a world where nature and culture are inextricably intertwined, each enhancing the beauty and depth of the other. No journey through Patagonia is complete without experiencing the gaucho palate. Simple, hearty, and bursting with flavor, gaucho cuisine is a testament to the resourcefulness of these hardy people. Imagine sitting down to a meal under the open sky. The air is filled with the aroma of roasting lamb cooked slowly over an open fire, the meat so tender it falls off the bone. Empanadas filled with savory meat or cheese offer a taste of comfort food on the go. And of course, no meal is complete without mate. This traditional South American beverage, made from yerba mate leaves steeped in hot water, is more than just a drink. It's a symbol of hospitality, shared among friends and strangers alike. At Section 8, Patagonia's Wildlife, a glimpse into Eden, Patagonia is a haven for wildlife. As you ride across the plains, you'll likely encounter herds of guanacos, their long necks and slender legs giving them an air of elegance. These wild relatives of the llama roam freely, their soft coats blending seamlessly with the landscape. Look up and you might spot Andean condors soaring effortlessly on thermals. With wingspans that can reach over 10 feet, these magnificent birds command attention as they circle above. Keep an eye out for foxes darting through the underbrush, their cunning eyes searching for prey. And if you're lucky, you might catch a glimpse of a puma, the elusive ghost of the Andes, its powerful muscles rippling beneath its sleek coat. Section 9. The Silence of the Andes. A meditation on horseback. There's a certain silence in Patagonia that you won't find anywhere else. It's a silence that envelops you, wrapping you in a cocoon of tranquility. It's a silence that's not empty, but rather filled with the subtle sounds of nature, the rustling of leaves, the distant call of a bird, the gentle hum of life all around you, the wind whispering through the grass, carrying with it the stories of the land. A distant waterfall cascading down a mountainside, its sound a soothing backdrop to your journey. The rhythmic clip-clop of your horse's hooves, a steady beat that sinks with your heartbeat. In this silence, you find a sense of peace that's both grounding and exhilarating. It's a peace that seeps into your soul, calming your mind and invigorating your spirit. It's a chance to disconnect from the noise of everyday life and reconnect with yourself, with nature, and with the simple rhythm of the ride. Each step your horse takes is a step away from the chaos and a step towards inner harmony. As you traverse vast distances with only the sound of the wind and your horse's steady gait, you realize that this silence isn't just the absence of noise. It's a profound presence, a living entity that speaks to you in whispers. It's a presence, a force that allows you to hear the whispers of your own soul. In this meditative state you find clarity, inspiration and a deep connection to the world around you. Section 10. Leaving footprints, taking memories. Every adventure comes to an end, but the memories forged in Patagonia will last a lifetime. You'll carry with you the feel of the wind in your hair, the smell of the earth after a rain, and the sound of your horse's contented snort. You'll remember the camaraderie of fellow riders, the warmth of the gocho hospitality, and the feeling of being completely immersed in the raw beauty of nature. But more than memories, you'll take away a renewed sense of self. The challenges you face, the bond you forge with your horse, and the sheer scale of the landscape will leave an indelible mark on your soul. You'll leave Patagonia, but Patagonia will never truly leave you. Section 11, answer the call of Patagonia. So, to those seeking adventure, to those yearning for a connection with nature, I say this, answer the call of Patagonia. Experience the thrill of riding through vast landscapes, 
the bond with a noble Criollo horse and the spirit of the gaucho culture. Let the silence of the Andes wash over you, let the rugged beauty of the land ignite your soul, and let the memories you make on horseback stay with you long after you've returned home. Patagonia awaits. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Ned Voyage for more interesting travel content. Bye for now.